I stood there in flip-flops, trying to make the most life-threatening decision I'd ever made. I'm Will Hopkins. I'm a software developer, a drummer, a motorcyclist, and a wannabe filmmaker. I've written software since I was 16 or 17. It's something I'm very good at, and it's a very well-paid profession. But since I used to watch my dad splice his Super 8 movies together, I've always wanted to do something that's more emotionally rewarding for a living. The little wins you get in software sit in a half meter cubed space between your keyboard, your monitor and your head. So nine years ago I resolved to pivot my career and become a commercial filmmaker. I went to India to do some one-on-one -on -one video editing training. I experienced something that only now when I look back, I see the parallels of. My trainer recommended that I took a day trip to a place called the Robber's Cave. It's a walk through the waters of a small river, up a small, narrow gorge, and on the way up, I met and walked with some locals who, at one point, helped me jump across this deep chasm. And a bit later, they turned back and I carried on upstream. However, returning to the gap, I realised I was now going to have to make this jump on my own. There was no one behind me, the light was fading, and I stood there, carrying my camera gear, wearing flip-flops, and it took me five goes, counting to three, to make the jump on the slippery rocks that, if I'd have fallen, would undoubtedly have killed me, and I've never been so scared. Some years before, I'd been through a very expensive relationship breakdown. I started incurring debts, and rebuilding my life, and investing in training and buying gear. Then a few years later, I had the bright idea of embarking on my first solo commercial filmmaking adventure. So I loaded my motorcycle with all my filming gear, and for nine days, I rode over 800 miles around the county, visiting 10 or 11 venues a day, documenting an annual art project. I invested into that over 20,000 pounds for the return of a few hundred pounds. So eventually my debt hit over 40,000 pounds and the dream, whilst it never really went away, just wilted. However, this time last year, I finally cleared the last of my debts so I've researched additional video and business courses and with the opportunity that this virus shutdown has opened up for me, that's what I'm doing right now, undertaking those and the time feels right. So, as I look back at that moment where I stood on the slippery edge of a chasm in flip-flops nine years ago, where I plucked up the courage to take that leap so after 33 years of writing software, I can do this, I can pivot my career, I can make it work.